All right, class, so this is the acid-base properties of salt, section 15.10. Um, and this section, we're gonna be talking about if these salts, basically, once they dissociate, if they're gonna give an acidic, basic, or neutral solution. And I find that this is something that's really difficult for us to, to predict, especially when we're starting out. Um, so for all of these, the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do, and you really have to sort of do this in a stepwise fashion, you have to be disciplined to say, okay, what's the first thing that I do? Uh, and then do that and then move on to the next steps uh, to, to solve the problem. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to dissociate each of the salts. So when I see NH4Cl, really I'm seeing NH4 plus and then Cl minus. So I'm seeing both of those things, right, because it's going to dissociate in solution. All of these examples that we're, we're giving you here, they're all going to dissociate into their, their respective ions. I, says acid-base properties of salts. When I think of salts, I should think of ions, right? The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna consider the hydrolysis reaction. So what that means, in, in maybe English, means react it with water and see if anything happens. So when I say react it with water, I really just mean react it with water. And then we're gonna see if this reaction is gonna be an equilibrium reaction or if it's not gonna sort of go in, in one direction. And I can see this NH4 plus, it seems reasonable to me that we could end up with NH3 and H3O plus in this case. Now, in terms of predicting what's gonna happen, if you see a positive charge on this side, well, if you're gonna do a reaction with water, then that means you're gonna form H3O plus. We wanna have positives together, right, charge balance. And then for the Cl minus, we'll see that we're gonna to wanna to have negatives together. So we'll see OH minus in that case. So this would be the first reaction. And we have to ask ourselves, is this a reaction that, that could go appreciably to the right? Could, could this happen, essentially? NH4 plus plus water giving us NH3 and H3O plus. I see that this looks like a weak acid. This looks like a weak base. Um, there's nothing that's sort of suggesting to me that this can't go to the right uh, or go back to the left. So this seems like it could be in equilibrium. And this seems very reasonable. Now, let's consider Cl minus. So in this case, since we've got Cl minus, the, the products essentially that I'm gonna be looking for, one's gonna be OH minus. So since I see this minus here, minus here, and then the other product, if I, if I took OH minus from H2O, is gonna be HCl. And when I see that HCl, I should have sort of warning bells going off in my head because the HCl I need to recognize as a strong acid. And that strong acid it's not gonna be stable in solution. It's not gonna be ever, you know, if you've got H plus floating around, you've got Cl minus floating around, right, and they're separate in the solution, they're never gonna to come together and form HCl. That's, that's not gonna happen, right? So this reaction here, it is not going to do the top reaction. It's not going to move to the right at all, 0%, right? If you put HCl in solution, we often draw reaction arrows going in one direction, just going, this reaction would only be able to go to the left, it's not gonna be able to go to the right. Okay, now we need to decide, well, what does that, what does that mean for this overall solution? NH3 plus plus H3O plus, essentially what we're doing, if I have NH4 plus and CO minus, I'm gonna be putting a little extra H3O plus into my solution but I'm not putting any extra OH minus into the solution, right? Since there's no extra OH minus going into the solution, overall this will be slightly acidic. And that's based off of this H3O plus that we put into the solution, right? So let's do some more examples and let's see if we can sort of catch on here. Again, I'm gonna dissociate into ions and then consider the, the hydrolysis reactions. So in this case, Na plus, again, since it's plus, I'm gonna be expecting to form H3O plus as one of my products, and then whatever's left over will be sodium hydroxide. That's a strong base, right? Since that's a strong base, this reaction is not gonna go any way to the right at all. It would only go back to the left. So we're not gonna be putting any H3O plus in. Again, we'll do the same thing here. OH minus plus, now in this case, it would be HNO3. Again, strong acid. So again, this reaction is not gonna go appreciably to the right at all. So again, this one will be neutral. KNO3, so again, just same process, H2O. Here we're gonna be forming, again, H3O plus, right? And then what's gonna be left over? KOH, strong base. So this reaction is not gonna happen. 
And then NO2 minus plus H2O, we're going to get HNO2 and OH minus. And here we've got a weak acid. This HNO2, that is a weak acid. Therefore, this reaction could go, right? So we'll call this a weak acid. So this reaction can go a little bit to the right. The, the significance of it being a weak acid is simply that it is stable in the solution. Since it's stable in the solution, this reaction, this equilibrium, it can go a little bit to the right. That's sort of the whole point here. So this one's going to be basic. And it's basic because I'm putting a little bit more OH minus. It's a little confusing, right? You're forming a weak acid. And therefore, it's going to be a little bit more basic, like what? That doesn't make sense. But it is. it does make sense because as we form that little bit of weak acid, we're also forming OH-. So this OH- here, that's what's telling us that this KNO2 solution is going to be overall a little bit basic, right? The K+, plus, this is just going to be a spectator. It's not going to do anything. It's not going to form KOH. It's not going to, you know, therefore form a little bit of H3O+. Plus. So we're going to have K+, plus, NO2-, minus, and because this NO2- minus, can do this hydrolysis reaction, well, it's going to be putting a little bit of OH- minus into the solution, therefore we have an overall basic solution. So the, the logical progression there is a little bit complicated, right? But hopefully it will make sense. Now, the next one, Rb+, plus, Br-, minus, hydrolysis reaction, hydrolysis reaction. Now again, since I see the plus, sometimes you're looking at this, you're like, what, what products are going to be formed? I don't really know, right? But again, if you see the positive here, that means we're going to have H3O+, and then what's left over? Rubidium OH. So this is a strong base, and we need to be able to, to recognize that, right, from our, you know, just looking at the periodic table, we should be able to figure out that that is a strong base. And then Br- minus would be HBr plus OH minus, again, the OH minus is the, the hint there. And then HBr is a strong acid. This one's going to be neutral. Finally, we've got NH4 plus. We already know that that's going to work, right? That that's going to give us um, NH3, which is a weak base, plus H3O plus. And NO2, again, earlier we saw that that is also going to undergo that hydrolysis reaction to give us HNO2 that's a weak acid plus OH minus. So now we need to figure out, well, which one of these is going to go to the right to a greater extent, right? We're going to have NH4 plus and NO2 in an equal amount, right? Because it's a, a salt, right? We would expect a one-to-one -one ratio there. So then which one of these is going to go to the right to a, to a greater extent? So what we're going to do is we're going to compare, this is a, going to be a Ka, right? That forms the, uh, follows the general form of a Ka, and then we'll compare that to the value of this Kb. That follows the, the general form of, of Kb. So here we've got 5.62 times 10 to the minus 10th, and here we've got 2.5 times 10 to the minus 11th. Oops. So this is a larger Kb, very, very small, obviously, but this larger Kb, slightly larger Kb, is going to mean that there's slightly more H3O+, plus, right? The bigger the Kb, the more products are formed, or Ka in this case. The bigger the K value, the more products. So this is the bigger K value, so there's going to be slightly more H3O+, plus. so this bottom one will be slightly acidic. That's what we'd go for there. All right, I hope that that helps, um, and let me know if you've got more questions about these salt solutions. I know that they're a little bit confusing.